Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So glad you come in. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, and if not, that's okay. Just grab a cup of coffee and sit down. And let me read to you for a while. <laughs> it's about the size of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is a flix. Biden White House worried it will offend CCP. Former National Security Consul Chief, Consul Chief of Staff Fed Flitz, and that's F L E I T Z, and Fed F E D, Fed Flitz, accused the Biden administration of failing to stand up to Chinese anthro cities. That's not how it's pronounced, I don't think. Chinese intricacies and censorship over fears of offending the Chinese Communist Party. Speaking on the John Solomon Reports podcast, former administration official noted the weekend's widespread protest against Beijing's uh, draconian zero-COVID policies. I've heard a lot about that lately. Uh, thousands converged on university campuses and took to the streets demanding that President X.I. Jinping, Jinping step down and the ruling Communist Party relinquish power. Flitz, Flitz declared that there is not a better moment than now for the U.S. to speak out on behalf of freedom and on behalf of all people fighting for freedom. He expressed his belief that the Biden White House is too worried about inflation and the economy as well as offending the GOP. The U.S. he laminated is sorely lacking leadership. The Chinese people, according to Flitz, known well, know well that their government is corrupt and lying to them. However, they face a strong surveillance state that will undoubtedly jail many of these demonstrators. State suppression means average citizens cannot access the internet outside of China. And at the same time, they are subject to incredibly aggressive propaganda and press censorship. The combination added to harsh prison sentences that may be handed down for dissident makes it all the more remarkable so that many Chinese are braving the consequences to protest government actions. Beijing appears to have reached its limit of tolerance for the mass protests sweeping the nation. The CCP's powerful security machine sweep swept through the country after the weekend demonstrations to stifle further unrest. Police descended on previous protest sites, checked cell phones for apps, Virtual Private Network Networks VPN, private virtual private networks VPNs used to organize the rallies. Some demonstrations were even contacted, contacted and warned against returning to the streets. In a Tuesday morning meeting, in a Tuesday meeting, I'm sorry, I was thinking about morning, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I got so much to say about articles like this. But um, I might, at the end, I don't know. Chinese Domestic Security Chief Shen Win Winqing, or W E N Q I N G, Win Queen, King, whatever, pleaded to effectively maintain overall social stability. Now, avoiding direct references to the demonstrations, Chen said law enforcement will strike hard against infiltration, sabotage activities by hostile forces. Flitz is right. The Biden administration is cowering under the economic difficulties created by its own policies, placing its own economic concerns ahead of speaking out against human rights violations. Leadership from the White House is glaringly, obviously, obvious only by its absence. It's almost like those people, and I have seen this phrase a lot in a lot of the other YouTubers, uh, videos. Chinese, it's like they're being held prisoners. They have no voice. They have no choice. They have no freedom. 
So why do these people that are supposed to overlook their people, protect their people, take care of their people, aren't friendly and could care less about their people at all? I, you know, it, uh, it don't make sense to me. It don't make sense. And, and look at us. We had no say-so in what Biden did over the past two years. It was all done in the upstairs. Capitol. We had no voice in it. Sure, we get to vote. But does that really count? That's something to think about, isn't it? Does our votes really count? They have been erupted. They have been corrupted. So are we any better off than what China's being treated by Biden and his son involved in China and it's under the table doings or what other country have us, the citizens, the taxpayers, which I'm not anymore um, because I'm retired and disabled, but uh, do we count for anything? But little tiny handouts just to keep us from starving. EBT foods. Keep a roof over our heads. Keep our utilities going until we take our last breath. Is that all we're good for? Florida Representative Donald says House will check Biden's overreach. Now, I've not been here. I'm just going with these uh, lines that are lined up here on the on the channel here. This is not off my desktop yet. <laughs> I ain't there yet. <laughs> I'll get there. <clears throat> Let's see what this one is. I don't think I've done this. It's called Biden's Overreach. Even though the red wave that conservatives have expected for this year's midterm elections was underwhelming in many respects, some GOP House leaders are promising to deliver on the promises made in this year's campaign cycle. Yeah, right. Okay. We're still sitting here. YouTubers after YouTubers. Oh, you're going to get a $1,400 check. Oh, it's been approved. You're going to get a $2,000 check. Oh, my God. Maybe the families have gotten their money. The children have gotten their money. Well... I'm happy for them. Thank God somebody's getting some help somewhere. The Senate will remain under the control of Democrats with either the tie-breaking advantage of Vice President Kamala Harris vote or an outright majority. Depending on the outcome of the December 6th Georgia Senate runoff between Republican Herschel Walker, Senator Raphael Warnock. Now I hope I've not did this one before. It's possible. Just hang in there. I'll recognize something pretty soon <laughs> if I've already redone this or done this and I'm redoing it again now. The House is returning to GOP control. <laughs> oh, mercy. As Republicans will hold either 2021 or 2022 seats depending on the outcome of remaining one remaining race. Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat of California, is expected to be replaced by Representative Kevin McCarthy, uh, Rep Republican of California, as a top House leader when the next Congress is sworn in on January 3rd. This is Brian Donalds, uh, said people should not lose heart. 2022 has really shown us in, is the American people are sick of the Democrats, but they are not quite sure that they love Republicans. Opportunity for us to make our case and to demonstrate the bold leadership. And just exactly how do we do that? You know, YouTubers, keep asking, when are we going to get some financial help? Where's that stimulus check that President Biden promised us? We got a $1,400 check. Uh, what was the other one? $700 some dollar check. That ain't nowhere near 2,000. And we have been in so much need. 
over the past year, but still, no 2000. In the recent interview, Republican Brian Donalds, Republican of Florida, said that Congress has failed to properly check executive power and the GOP expects to change that shortly. Donald says that Joe Biden's most recent extension of the pause on student loan repayment after the federal court struck down his forgiveness plan is the latest example of Congress allowing the president to overreach in the name of COVID-19 pandemic emergency. In addition to the student loan declaration, the Biden White House recently declared a general extension of the national emergency declaration, declaration due to the pandemic. Meanwhile, Biden has issued more executive orders to this point in this term than any president since Jimmy Carter in the 1970s. Donald says this is where Congress has to do its job and actually go back in and unwind a lot of these pre uh, presidential emergencies that are created by executive order. He added that is outrageous that Biden is still relying on an emergency doctrine from the COVID-19 to extend these moratoriums. Ultimately, Donald said the situation is Congress's fault. He said that the House represent Republicans have to reassert our authority in the federal bureaucracy and the federal government and take away some of these powers from the executives. Other GOP House members, including Representative Jim Jordan, a rep uh, Republican from Ohio, James Corner, Republican from Kentucky, has also promised since Election Day that Republicans will thoroughly investigate allegedly improper actions by the FBI and the internal business dealings with Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, and James Biden. Yeah, don't forget uh, Joe's brother. He was involved too with a lot of that. Whatever they found out, we haven't really found out too much of anything right now. <clears throat> and this one here, Biden administration fears offending Chinese government. Now, I might have did this one. I can't remember, but I doubt it. I think it's on my desktop. So I'm getting something done here anyway. The Biden administration continues tiptoe around the Chinese Communist Party. Former Chief of Staff to the National Security Council, Fred Flitz. Here's Fred Flitz again. Says that the White House won't speak out against China's censorship and abuse of the people due to fears of offending the CCP. Thousands of protesters in China gathered over the weekend to fight the government's zero-COVID policies and dictatorship. Okay. That's just another article, but it's, it pertains to the same thing that I just read before. Yeah, China's censorship is severe. Many protesters can end up in jail, yet the Chinese people know their government is corrupt and tired of the communist-led government. Imprisonment for protesters is harsh and long. The rest of it sounds just like what I read before. Oh, it mind boggles you, doesn't it? You know, it really does. I'll be back.